Spirit of the living God, take control, take control, my God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Makato Korobo Shikata Kayada Bada Badadas Leka Baba Bada 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 Shikata Kayada Bada Bada Leka Baba Bada Bada Shikata Kayada Bada 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 Spirit of the living God, take control tonight, O oh God. Take control, take control, take control tonight. Mahados, Kadas, Kidios, Kaba, Labandi, Azika, Rabada, Badados, Kaba, Badabras, Ikataka, Yarabadados, Erabadadon, Diazika, Taka, Yarabadados, Yandi, Arabadados, Kaba, Badabada, 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 Rabash Kadash Idios Ikata Kayara Badarosh Lebas Kados Kados Idios Hindayas Yandayalaba My God, my God, we bless you. We adore your name, O God. We glorify your name this morning. Let your name be exalted. Let your name be praised. Let your name be magnified today, O King of Kings. In the name of Jesus Christ, we adore you, Lord. We adore you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, be lifted, be lifted this morning, King of Kings. Be lifted, be lifted, be lifted, my King and my Master. Be glorified this morning in the name of Jesus. Carabos, he da 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 bos, he da 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 bos. Le kababa la brasi kata kaya la balados, araba kata kaya la balados, le kaya la brandi la brasi kata kaya la balados, yandi la balados, le kaya la brasi kata kaya la balados, la kababa la brasi kata kaya la balados, adi la bala balados, kata kaya la balados. My God, my God, my God, my God, we bless your name, O King of Kings. We lift you up this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, be lifted up, be lifted, be lifted this morning, O God. In the name of Jesus, La Karabros Mahadia Zikaraba Zikataya Le Kababa Labra Sikata Kayala Dios. In the name of Jesus, glory, 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 Lord, glory, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, Mahados Mehedia Sikata Kayala Bra Sikata Kayalaba. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for joining this morning. This is Pastor Cephas, and this is our 90 days call to the altar. Um, and this is the morning devotion. Amen. Um, God bless you. Please invite someone. Please like, share, invite someone to join us this morning, even as we enter our day number 10 of prayers today. So wherever you are, just bless the Lord for the next 60 seconds. In your own ways of expressions, understanding. Just open up your mouth, just bless him, give him glory, give him adoration, give him thanksgiving, just exalt his name, just glorify his name, just magnify him this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, magnify the Lord, magnify him, magnify him right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, bless him, bless him, bless him, bless him. Bless him this morning. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Praise his holy name. The psalmist said, wherever you are right now, just bless the Lord. Bless him. Bless him right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Mahados kataya si kataya labra le kaya labro si karaba si kerebos lima si karamo kadi bakatua si kata rabakatua zikarama si kata kaya la dios. 
in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Bless him, bless him, bless him, bless him, bless him, somebody. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord right now. Mahados kata zikara baraba, leka baba labra zikata kaya labra, laka baka tua zikerebos, leka rebos zikata kaya labara ros, leka ya labra zikara baba ros, zikata kaya labara ros, leka baba labra zikara baba ros, leka ya labra zikata kaya labara ros, laka baka tua zikata kaya labara ba, adi anda ya zi anda ya labara ros, adi anda ya zi anda ya labra, adi anda ya zi anda ya labara ros. Leka baba la brazi kata kaya la barada, e mama la brazi kata kaya la barada, kaya la barada zi andi la barada. Leka baba la brazi kata kaya lebe. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Raka baka tua zi karaba, leka baka tua zi karaba barada, leka ya la barada zi karaba la barada. Laka baka tua zi kata kaya la barada, laka baka tua zi kata ya la barada, leka ya la brazi karaba. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Rakabaka to Azikaraba, Lakabaka to Azikata Kayalaba, Likamaka Suasi Kerebos, in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you this morning. We are praying in the book of Jeremiah, chapter number 29, the verse number 11. The Bible says something, and I want to share with you, and then we're going to continue praying this morning in the new international version the bible says god said for this is what the lord says when babylon 70 years are complete i will attend to you and confirm my promise to restore this place amen and the next verse says For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Now this is very encouraging. As I've said to you, this is a prophetically good year. And God is saying that I know the plans I have for you. So whatever you are going through, God is saying, I have plans for you. Here is God talking to Israel and they are in bondage in Babylon. They have been enslaved in Babylon. And God is saying that I still have plans for you. Despite the circumstance, despite your state and what you are going through, God is saying, I still have plans for you. Sometimes we may feel that God has neglected us. But God said, I know the plans I have for you. Despite your circumstance and what you are going through, God says, I have plans for you. Listen to me. For Almighty God to say, I have plans for me, is encouraging. Because the Bible says, when God purpose, who can disannual it? In other words, when God plans, who can cancel his plans? Who can cancel the plan of God? When God has planned something for you, who can change it? Who can mess it up? So I am encouraged when I hear that God is saying that I have plans for you. I know the plans I have for you. In other words, God is sure that there is a plan for my life. There is a plan for your life. So God says, I know the plans I have for you. Declares the Lord. The Bible says, what plans does God have for us? This year, God has plans for you. This 2021, the plans of God will manifest in our lives. The Bible says, for I know the plans I have for you declares the lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future so god is saying my plans for you this year is that number one i will prosper you number two i will make sure that no harm comes to you number three i have plans to give you hope god said this year is a year of hope for you And not just that, it says plans to give you a future. 
The plan of God is to prosper me. Is to watch over my life so that nothing can harm me. Is to give me hope. And not just that, but to tell me that there is a future for me. There is a future for you. There is a future for you. You will not fail this year. The plans of God concerning your life will come to pass. You shall not fail this year. I want you to make this declaration with me. Say in the name of Jesus. Say my father. Say my maker. Say under the covering of the superior blood of the living Christ. Say I have an assurance and expectation that I will be victorious at the end. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say I have an assurance. Say I have a promise of God of God and an expectation and an expectation that I will be victorious in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus say under the covering of the superior blood of Jesus Christ say oh Lord say say oh Lord I trust I trust you will show me your favor you will show me favor you will show me favor wherever I go and wherever I turn, in the name of Jesus, say this year, 2021, wherever I go and wherever I turn, my God shall show me favor, shall show me favor in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Say under the covering, say under the covering, say under the covering of the superior blood of Jesus Christ, of Jesus Christ. Say, oh Lord, say, oh Lord, let my sources manifest manifest in every area of my life of my life in the name of Jesus Christ say my God say my maker say my God say my maker say let my sources manifest manifest in every area of my life this year in the name of Jesus Mahadusi Katakaya Labrus Labron dia zika takaya labras. Karabasi kaya labrosi karabosi kataya. Say in the name of Jesus. Say under the covering of the superior blood of the living Christ. Say my God. Say my maker. Let your peace that surpasses all understanding saturate my mind, my body, my soul, and my spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Say under the covering of the superior blood of the living Christ, of the living Christ. Say let the peace of God, let the peace of God saturate my mind, my soul, my body, and my spirit in the name of Jesus Christ, of Jesus Christ. Say my father, say my maker, say this year, 2021, I commit my plans. Say I commit my plans into your hands into your hands and I believe and I trust it will be established it will be established in the name of Jesus Christ Mahaduya Sikarabos Lebros Kadi Sikataya just open up your mouth and pray in the dialect of the spirit or pray in any language any tongue in the name of Jesus Christ that you can express yourself right now I want you to begin to pray right now God says I have plans for you I have plans for you and my plans for you is to prosper you this year I declare this year you shall prosper. I say you shall prosper. Your whole being shall prosper. You shall prosper in good health. I say you shall prosper in good health this year. In the name of Jesus Christ. You shall prosper financially this year. You shall prosper in your relationship this year. You will prosper in your job. You will prosper in your vision. You will prosper in your career. Whatever you do this year shall prosper. In the name of Jesus. I want you to open up your mouth and make the confessions upon on your life that this year I will prosper I will prosper in the name of Jesus Christ I accept the word of God over my life that this year the plan of God is to prosper me in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I want you to open up your mouth and speak to the Lord speak to the Lord right now speak to the Lord right now you shall prosper you shall prosper in everything that you do in the name of Jesus Christ Makato sikata yala bro sikata ya. And God said, not only would I prosper you, but my plans for you 
is that no harm shall come to you. Jesus said, deliver us from evil. We are praying this very day. Let evil be far from you this year. No harm will come against you this year. No accident, no untimely death will come to you this year. In the name of Jesus Christ, there will be no mishap. There will be no misfortunes at our doors, at, at our gates. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want you to open up your mouth and pray right now in the name of Jesus Christ and declare it upon your life this very morning that no harm shall come upon me this year. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, no evil shall knock at my door this year. In the name of Jesus Christ, I am delivered from any untimely death. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the plans of the enemy to harm me, to destroy me, by the power of the word of God, I escape it. In the name of Jesus, I declare by the word of God, no harm, no harm of the enemy shall befall me this year in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, speak to the Lord today. Speak to the Lord today. Speak to the Lord. Speak to the Lord right now. No harm shall be for you. No harm shall be for you. No harm shall be for your family. No harm shall be for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, you will not spend this year in any hospital bed. In the name of Jesus Christ, none of your families, none of your relatives will spend this year in any hospital bed. In the name of Jesus Christ, Makatua Sikata, Le Karabrosi Kataya Labros, Labrosi Kataya Zia, Rabba Katua Sikataya. We are praying prophetically. As I was praying this prayer, I saw that someone's mother is heavily sick. We are going to pray right now and we are going to intercept every work of sickness against that individual. We are praying for healing. We are praying for divine deliverance right now to occur in the life of that person right now. The Bible says, God says, my plan for you is that no harm shall come to you. No harm shall come to you, child of God. This year, 2021, we escape every trap. We, es uh, we escape every evil. We escape every harm of the enemy. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I want you to extend prayer unto anyone that is sick right now. I want to use this lady as a point of contact right now in the name of Jesus Christ. That let the hand of the Lord touch her right now. Let the spirit of the Lord heal her right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. No harm shall be for us this year. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. I pray for the woman that is sick. I pray for the woman that is sick right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed. In the name of Jesus. Be healed. And God says, Jeremiah 29 verse 11, that my plans towards you is to give you a future, is to give you hope. We are praying on the word hope. Hallelujah. The Bible says that there is hope for a tree even when it is cut off, even when its leaves wither. Even when it is cut to the stem, the Bible says there is hope for it. For the Bible says, at the scent of water, it will sprang forth in new life. We are praying this very day. God says that there is hope for us. He says, my plan for you is that I will give you hope. Which means some of us, we have reached a point in our life where our hope is down. Where we have given up in certain areas of our life. And God says, I have plans to give you hope this year. We pray this year, let my hope be resurrected in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your hope be resurrected this year in the name of Jesus. I want you to open up your mouth right now and begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let every hope that is dead, 
be quickened in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. If you can pray in the spirit, open up your mouth and pray in the spirit. If you can pray with words of understanding, open up your mouth and pray right now. I declare that this year there is hope for you. I say this month there is hope for you. I say this month there is hope for you this month. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever you are trusting God for, whatever you are believing God for, I declare this month there will be a manifestation. There will be a manifestation this month. In the name of Jesus. Maka tua sataka la broska da zikataya la brazia ndaya la braka toya saya la braka taya zia ndaya kaya bara bara dos kaya la bara bara dos kaya la braz la bra la ba la bra la ba katwa sikataya zia la brazia ndaya le kara broska daya there is hope for us this month in the name of Jesus. Every promise of God will come to pass. The expectations of God will not fail this month. It will manifest in the name of Jesus. For the Lord has promised it. It will come to pass in the name of Jesus. Makatua sikataya. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say in the name of Jesus. Declare. Say in the name of Jesus. Say under the covering of the superior blood of the living Christ. Say oh God. Give me a spirit of excellence, of excellence that I can rise, that I can arise in my calling and glorify you. Say my father, say my maker, say my father, my maker, say give me a spirit of excellence in the name of Jesus Christ. We are praying. Daniel chapter 9 verse 3. The Bible talks about a Daniel heart an excellent spirit. Listen to me. When you have an excellent spirit, everything that you do, you can be spotted from afar and you can be nominated for favor just because of that spirit of excellence. When that spirit dwells in you, you do everything to the satisfaction of everything around you without effort. The spirit of excellence causes you to succeed without effort. And your success is beautiful. When you are doing something, people see beauty out of it. And there is no option but to reward you. We are praying this, this prayer that God give me that spirit of excellence in the name of Jesus Christ. We are praying because if that spirit is upon you, even when hundreds of people are guarded, you will be nominated for favor. You will be selected for a promotion. There are some of us who are in, you know, who are in different jobs. It is time that you are nominated. It is time that you are selected for the high level, for a position in the name of Jesus Christ. Let that spirit of excellence rub upon you, fall upon you in your job whatever you do let the spirit of excellence come upon you in your business in the name of jesus that you shall operate with distinction that you shall operate with exception in the name of jesus christ open up your mouth and pray and say my father give me the spirit of excellence in the name of jesus christ say oh god let the spirit of excellence be my portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Makatua sikata, labros kata katia, raba katua sikataya, labros kataya sayantaya, karaba sikataya, raba katua sikataya saya, labros kataya labaraba, kaya labaya labarados, le karabros kataya siya, labras kataya siya. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the spirit of excellence rest upon you that when many are called you shall be chosen this year i say you shall be appointed i say you shall be chosen this year you shall be selected this year you shall be the righteous selection this year in the name of jesus christ you will be the candidate for the promotion this year in the name of jesus christ let that spirit of excellence locate you and bless you and favor you to the glory of god in the name of jesus thank you jesus father we bless you 
in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for joining me once again. This is Pastor Cephas. I want to take you through a few things. We are going back into our 90 days spiritual principles. I, I said I'm giving you 90 principles about the spiritual world. So far I have given you I think four of them. Today I'm I've given you five of them, right? Let me see. I've given you four of them. Today is day number 10. So I'm giving I'm gonna give you six of them today so that we will have 10 for 10 days. Six of them today. Listen to me very carefully. There is no option in God's plans for you this year to fail. L listen, I have no plans to mess up this year for myself. And I'm trusting God for you that you will not fail this year. You will not mess up this year. This is not the year. This is not the year for that. It will not happen to you. As God be God, it will not happen to you this year. You will prosper this year. You will make it this year in the name of Jesus Christ. I guarantee you on the basis of God that everything concerning you this year will change for your good. It will prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. There is no option for failure in your life this year. It will not happen. You will not be rejected. You will not be rejected in anything you endeavor to do this year. You shall not be rejected. I pray for you for unlimited favor, uncommon favor. Whatever you touch this year, whatever you are involved in this year, I pray for you. You will not be rejected. You shall not be refused in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen to me. They will not pick up your application and throw it to the side. This year, the Lord will favor you in the name of Jesus. Let the angels of God benefit you this year, work for you this year, tirelessly. Let heaven be on your side this year. Let heaven operate on your behalf this year in the name of Jesus. I pray that this is the year where God will bless you. You will not toil this year. You will not struggle this year. You will enjoy the blessings of God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, you shall make it this year. I, I pray for you wherever you are working. I pray for you right now. Let things turn around in your favor. Where, you know, and wherever you are working right now, I pray for you. Let things turn around in your favor. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Bible says that Joseph was favored where he was working. Daniel was favored where he was working. Jacob was favored where he was working. Child of God, I pray for you. Wherever you are working this year, I pray for unlimited favor, uncommon favor. I pray that heaven will locate you in the name of Jesus and bless you at your job site, elevate you at your job site in the name of Jesus Christ this year. Father, do it, O oh God. Let this year be the year you have said that your people will testify that the Lord is good and his mercies endure forever. Number five, number five, principles of the spiritual world things you must know about the spirit world now i want you to understand because i said this before and several times and you should know this that you are a spirit who you are who you are 
is a spirit. God created you as a spirit. God created you as a spirit. And you have a soul, which means you have evolution, which means you have the ability to make decisions and choices irrespective of what God thinks and wants of you. So you are a spirit, you have a soul, and you live in a house called the body. You live in a house called the body. Your spirit nature is what drives everything you do in this physical world. Your spirit nature is what drives everything you do in this world. Your essence is your spirit being. Your spirit being is who you are. So, principle number five, and remember this, is that when God, or if God wants to uplift you, he will first address your spirit being or your spiritual condition. If God wants to bless you, he will first address your spiritual condition. And if the devil wants to oppress you, he will first reach out to you in your spiritual world. He will first reach out to your spiritual being. If God wants to bless you, he will first address your spirit being. In other words, you must be blessed in the spirit to manifest it physically. If the devil wants to cause you harm, the harm begins in the spirit before it manifests. In other words, if the devil wants to do anything to you, he will first attack your spirit being. Because if he attacks your spirit being and your spirit being is weak, because, because the essence of who you are is your spirit. What causes you to make righteous decisions is your spirit being. If the devil can attack your spirit and he can prevail by attacking your spirit, then your physical being becomes weak because your physical being is not strong without your spirit. Your spirit comes from God. Your physical being comes from the dust of the earth. It comes from the low estate. Your spirit comes from the high estate. So if God wants to bless you, he touches your spirit. He reaches to your spirit. He lifts up your spirit. He encourages your spirit. That is why sometimes you wake up and you feel good. You, you, you just feel it. It means that your spirit has received something. It means something has been dropped into your spirit. You don't know why you feel good, but you just feel good. You just feel good. That is an indication that that day you must possess a life of blessings. Which means that when you wake up that day and you feel good, you should have a positive mentality despite any distractions and despite whatever will come your way. You feel good. It is an indication that a blessing has been deposited into you overnight. It means that God has addressed your spiritual state for a blessing. But when you wake up and you are downcast, you wake up and you are sad, you are moody. You wake up and you are not happy. You wake up and you are not motivated. You wake up and you are not into it. It means that the devil has addressed your spirit nature and has prevailed. And if you are not careful and care is not taken and you do not pray vigorously, you're going to mess up. You're going to mess up. Let me read a scripture for you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mahadosi Katakaya. Matthew. Not sure if I want to read this from Matthew or look. Give me some time. Let me think about this. Let me read from Luke chapter 5. The book of Luke. 
Let me show you something. Listen, listen. If God wants to bless you, it's going to occur spiritually. If the devil wants to mess you up, it's going to begin in the spirit. And this spiritual things takes place in most cases while you are sleeping. Your, your night hours are the most important hours of your life. Your night hours are the most important hours of your life. Don't joke with it. Luke chapter 8. Let me read from the verse number 5. No, I don't know. Sorry. That's not what I'm looking for. But I, I don't. Let me see. Yes, it's Matthew, rather. Okay, so Matthew 13. And I'm going to pick it from the New King James Version. And I'm going to read from the verse number... Let's see. Matthew 13, the verse number 24. Another parable he put forth to them saying, The kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seeds in his field. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tiles among the wheat and went away. But when the grain has sprouted and produced a crop, then the tiles also appeared. So the servants of the owner came and said to him, Say, did you not sow good seed in your field? How then does it have tiles? He said to them, An enemy has done this. The servants said to him, Do you want us to go out and gather them up? But he said, No. Least while you gather up the tiles, you also uproot the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest and at the time of harvest i will say to the reapers first gather together the towels and bind them and bind them in a bundle to bend them but gather the wheat into my bounds now listen very very carefully this is very important you know despite my time the bible says that a sower went out to sow seeds and the bible says that when he planted the seeds and he went to bed an enemy came that same night and planted weeds or tars so that it will mess up what was planted. Listen, everything in your life, for everything in your life originates from the spirit realms. If the devil is going to mess you up, it is going to begin in the spirit realms. A man plants a seed in the daytime. And at night, an enemy went out to sow tiles. Jesus is giving a spiritual story. And you must understand this. Jesus is giving a spiritual illustration in this story of what happens in the night in people's lives. Thank you, Lord. Of what happens in the night in people's life. The Bible says, after they waited for the wheat to grow, they saw that tiles were also growing, weeds were also growing, and they were messing up with what was planted. The servant said, Master, did you not plant wheat? So why do we see something else? Tiles among the wheat. And the master said, an enemy has done this. Listen to me very carefully. Because your night hours are the most important hours of your life. The Bible says, while men went to sleep, an enemy came. This is an indication of spiritual things that occurs overnight. If God is going to bless you, it begins in the spirit. Point number five. 
he will first address your spiritual condition. If the devil is going to mess you up, he will first address your spiritual condition. Point number six, because of time. If your spiritual estate is poor, then your physical condition will also be poor. If your spiritual condition is good, then your physical condition will also be good. In other ways, if spiritually things are not good for you, if you are poor spiritually, you will manifest poverty. You will manifest lack. There are some people whose hands are bind spiritually so that they can receive. There are some people who spiritually, their hands are like basket, nothing can stay in it. It's like you pour water, you pour blessings in it, and it just falls out. Spiritually, they cannot handle anything. Spiritually, their hands are withered, and they can't receive anything. Spiritually, their hands are cut off, and they can't receive anything. Point number six, if you are poor spiritually, you will manifest poverty or lack. Point number six, if there is poverty in your family, you will struggle with it. Even no matter how educated you are, no matter how hardworking you are, that spirit lives in the family. That spirit works in the family. So even though you are educated and you have a degree, even though you have a good job and whatnot, you will find out that your life is a hassle. But if spiritually, things are good for you spiritually, even in your family, if your family is blessed and there is a blessing in your family spiritually, even when you are doing bad things, you prosper. It's amazing. It's amazing. That is why you, you cannot compare yourself to certain people. That is why you cannot mess up when certain people are messing up. Because certain people, there is, there is, there is, there is, there is good in their bloodline spiritually. So that whatever they do will prosper. Even when they are messing up. Even when they are not doing the right things. Good things happen to them. Why? Because there is good in their spirit environment. Their spiritual environment has been declared to prosper. The Bible says, when a man's ways pleases the Lord, whatever he does, whatever he does prospers whatever he does whatever he does prospers when a man's ways pleases the lord whatever that word whatever is whatever whatever he does prospers when your spiritual condition is good whatever you do will prosper but when your spiritual condition is bad whatever you do will turn out to be bad even though you are doing good physically it is still turning out to be bad work on your spiritual condition first if you can work on your spiritual condition you will succeed physically point number seven if a man's status must change the spiritual state must lead the way. Listen to me. If your physical status is going to change in life, if your level in the realms of the physical is going to change, it must first change in the spirit. Solomon said, I have seen a great evil under the sun. I have seen nobility set in low places which means that someone their status in the realms of the spirit this this goes back to 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 point number six their status in the realms of the spirit 
is nobility. They, they, they were born to be great. They were born of noble blood. They were born, I mean, there is success in their blood. But Solomon said, I've seen nobility set in low places. If your status is going to change, it must begin in the spirit realm. And Solomon said, it is an error because in the spirit realm, this person is noble. Why is this person walking around like a slave? Why is this person walking around like they are nobody? Why are they being treated this way? Because in the realms of the spirit, the person is great. So Solomon said, I have seen an evil under the sun and it is a great error. Nobility is set in low places. People that are destined, I mean, they are talented. There are some of you who are talented. There are some of you who are gifted. But you are not seated where you are supposed to be seated in life. It is an error. May God change our estate today. May God change our physical statues as a result of our spiritual statues in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to give you point number eight and I'm going to end here. We're going to pray and then tomorrow we're going to continue this spiritual principles. Tonight, don't miss tonight. Bring your bow and your prayer request tonight. We are going to go back to the altar tonight. So don't miss tonight. Point number eight. Point number eight. Many people who die today did not just die today. When someone dies today, they did not just die today. When someone loses their life today, it has already occurred in the spirit. When someone dies today, it has already taken place in the spirit. There are people walking around who are already dead. That is why you often hear the word, dead man walking. They just don't know it. Life has departed from them. There are people that when you see them, the signature of death is already implanted on them. I have seen this so many times in places where I've gone for deliverances and, you know, in fact, people who are marked for death, appointed for death. And you can see that at a certain time, at a certain month, this person is going to die. In, 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 the, in the realms of the spirit, it is already disclosed that they are going to die. That they are going to die. They have been marked for death. We are praying this prayer. Say, in the name of Jesus, any evil markings over my life is erased by the blood of Jesus Christ. Say, any evil markings over my life is erased by the blood of Jesus Christ. Of Jesus Christ. Say, oh Lord, I declare, I declare any markings of failure in my life is erased, is erased by the blood of Jesus, of Jesus, of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, any grave prepared for anyone in my family is broken, is broken in the name of Jesus Christ, of Jesus Christ, of Jesus Christ. Say, my father, say, my father, say, my father, any, any determinations of the enemy, of the enemy to sabotage my day today is aborted in the name of Jesus. See, any plans of the enemy to sabotage me today, today I avert, I avert, I cancel by the blood of Jesus Christ. Any powers of oppositions against me today, say I cancel it. Say, I cancel it in the name of Jesus. We are praying. The Bible says, 
The master planted wheat. When they went to sleep, an enemy came and so tars. What happened overnight in the realms of the spirit between yesterday and today will affect your life today. Whatever took place while you went to bed last night is going to affect you today, whether good or bad. You have a responsibility to begin every day with prayer. The, the servant says, I call them the servant spirit. The servant spirit said, let's tear out the task. And the master spirit said, no. The servant spirit said, how did this happen? And the master spirit said, an enemy has done this. It takes a master spirit to know that the operations of the spirit is what has affected my day today. May God give us discernment. Say, my father, give me discernment. Say, give me discernment. In everything I do today, say, I receive discernment. Say, I receive discernment. In the name of Jesus Christ, open up your mouth the next 60 seconds and speak to the Lord. Speak to the Lord right now. Speak to the Lord right now in the name of Jesus that the Lord will give you discernment. The Lord will give you discernment. The Lord will give you the master spirit. The master spirit. The spirit to discern. To discern in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, the spirit to descend, the spirit to descend in the name of Jesus between yesterday and today, the spirit to descend. What change? What change? What change? When the day change, what change? May God give us discernment in the name of Jesus Christ. Mahantu Kayanda, Rabaka Tukada, Rabaska Dika Daya Si and Daya, Ribaska Daya Si Kata, Randayaka Beka De Kapa, Romos Kodo, Kadis Kata, Kabe Kata, Ramaka Tuya Si and Daya, Rebas Kataya Saya, Ataya Labra Sikataya, Abaya Katuya Saya, Abaya Katuya Saya and Taya, Kaba Baba Baba, Rabba Baba Baba, Rabba Baba Baba Yanaba, Kata Bata, Raka Baba, Rabba Katua Sikata, Rabba Katua Saya and Taya, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, let God, let God give you the master spirit to discern. What changed overnight in the name of Jesus? You wake up and you are moody. What changed between last night and today? You wake up and you feel overwhelmed. You feel defeated. What changed between last night and today? May God give us the master spirit. The servant spirit did not know what happened between last night and today to cause this problem. But the master spirit said, an enemy has done this. And the master spirit said it with all assurance. May God give us the master spirit so that we will not take anything for granted. Sometimes people wake up between last night and today you wake up and you are not motivated you don't feel like doing anything and sometimes we take it for granted that is the servant spirit they don't know what happened so i don't feel like doing anything and you don't know what happened what changed your mood just like that what things things around for you may god give us the master spirit the spirit of discernment the spirit to decipher the spirit to distinguish between last night and tonight what changed may god give us that spirit in the name of jesus christ may we operate in our day-to-day -to -day activities today with the master spirit in the name of jesus christ that we may know what to do the servant spirit did not know what to do but the master spirit knew what to do so the master spirit is not just about descending it's not just about the discernment between last night and today but also what to know what to do 
between last night and today, what to do going forward? Going forward, what should I do? It takes the master spirit to know what to do. Our prayer this very day on June 10 is that God bless me, instigate my life with the master spirit. Saturate my life with the master spirit in the name of Jesus that I may be able to discern what changes and swings my mood, what messes my day in the name of Jesus Christ. May Jehovah grant us the master spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody, you don't know what to do, what to do next. You are at the crossroad in your life. You have a problem in front of you and you don't know what to do. May Jehovah grant you today the master spirit. May Jehovah grant you the master spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. May, may the solution just click. May the solution just come to you. May the master spirit infiltrate your life today in the name of Jesus so that we may know what to do. God, give us the master spirit. Give us the master spirit. Give us the master spirit. I want you to pray right now and say, my father, give me the master spirit. Give me the master spirit. The spirit to know what to do, what to do next in my life. The spirit to know what to do next in my life. I am at a crossroad. I am at a difficult decision in my life. God, give me the master spirit. Make it your prayer right now. Somebody make it your prayer right now. Make it your prayer right now. Masata Kayalados. Make it your prayer. Make it your prayer. Make it your prayer. Make it your prayer right now. Masata Kayalados. Le Karabalabashi Kataya, Labros Kataya Saya, Kaban Tu Kayanda, make it your prayer. Make it your prayer right now. Make it your prayer right now. Makatoya Sayandaya, Kaba Baba Baya Labras, Labras Kataya Labra, Labras Kataya Labras, Kayala Bros Kata, Kayala Bros Kata, Kayala Bros Kata, Kayala Bros Kata, Kayala Baskidias, Kayala Bros Kata, Kaba Sukataya. Make it your prayer child of God. Make it your prayer today that God give me the master spirit. Give me the master spirit. Listen, from today, when there is a mood swing, may God give you the master spirit to discern what swing that mood, what changed, what triggered that mood in the name of Jesus Christ. From today, from today, when you are downcast, may God give you an immediate knowledge of what changed, what caused it in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. From today, from today, if anything, any problem is presented to you, may heaven give you the solution. May, may heaven give you the solution to it. May the master spirit enter into you that you may know what to do you shall not operate with the servant spirit but you shall operate with the master spirit the servant spirit is what always asks people what am i supposed to do what am i supposed to do what should i do that is the servant spirit the master spirit knows what to do your prayer today as you go out there your prayer today is God, I receive the master spirit, the spirit of discernment and the spirit to know what to do. Let me pray for you. The Bible says, and the sons of Issachar were men that had understanding of the times. Number one, they had discernment of the times. They had understanding of the times. And the Bible says, and they knew what Israel ought to do. And they knew what Israel ought to do. They had discernment and they knew what to do with it. They had understanding and they knew what to do with it. They had understanding of the times. They had discernment. And the Bible said, and they knew what to do. Then the Bible said, and all their brethren were under their command. That is the master spirit. And all their brethren were under their command 
if you have discernment, if you know what to do, other people shall be subjected to you. The Bible said, and all their brethren were under their command. Let me pray for you. I pray for you today that all your brethren shall be under your command. All your colleagues shall be under your command. The Lord will subject other people to you because the Lord has given you this day discernment, understanding of the times. And the Lord has given you the knowledge of what to do. May you operate in it. May you operate in it for the rest of the day. May God give you grace. May God give you grace to operate in it. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Somebody just type in amen in agreement to our prayers today. Just type in amen. Just type in amen. God bless you. God bless you. Type in amen in agreement to the prayers today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Tonight, don't miss the altar service tonight. There is no option for failure in your life this year. It will not happen to you. I'm telling you, we will celebrate this year together. There is a God who answers prayer. May God bless you, and I will see you tonight. This is Pastor Cephas, and thank you for joining us for this morning devotion. God bless you. Amen and amen.